Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the dry unit weight for a given soil. This is important if you're taking the FE exam or if you're just taking the soil mechanics class. Now, if you're for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we have Saturated unit weight, which is 120 pounds per cubic feet. The porosity is 0.26 and the saturation is 100%. That means our soil is 100% saturated. This is very important to keep in mind. I'm going to show you guys a little bit why. We're going to use it to be able to solve this problem. So we need to find the dry unit weight in pounds per cubic feet. So first, I, I would just like to say that this problem is a little bit um, not so much uh, difficult but it just takes time to solve it so i don't think you'll get something like this during the exam i found a lot of the questions on phase relationships on the my fe exam were very straightforward kind of questions like you just pick the, the equation most of the the uh, variables are given to you all you have to do is just plug in but again you never know and that's why i wanted to share it with you guys Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is write the equation for the dry unit weight. So we have, uh, it's right here, so we have gamma dry is equal to the weight of the solid divided by the volume. So we don't have the weight of the solid, we don't have the volume, so for now we really can't do anything with this equation. So the next thing I would do is maybe use the saturated unit weight. So I'm going to write the unit, uh, the saturated unit weight is equal to the weight over volume. Now, I'm not going to use this equation because there's so many variables here that we don't really have. So let's rewrite the weight. So we have this when you have this 100% saturation, your soil is composed of two things, the soil and the water. That's it. You don't have air you, because it's all filled with just water. So let's write it down. So I have the weight of the water plus the weight of the solid and then divided by feet. You guys agree with me so far. So the next step is let's write the weight of the water divided by V plus the weight of the solid divided by V. So this term right here, that's just equals to uh, the dry unit weight. So this can be replaced by gamma D. And now we're left with this term. So here we can rewrite this equation. So let me show you guys a little bit here what I'm talking about. So the weight of the water is equal to what? So if you guys remember, as I mentioned earlier in the previous video, we said that the unit weight of the water is equal to, or unit weight in general is equal to the weight over volume. You guys have to remember this. It's really straightforward. So weight of the water divided by the volume of the water. So if I rearrange this equation, and I solve for the weight of the water, I get weight of the water is equal to the unit weight of the water times V water, right? Now, the V of the water, because we have 100% saturation, which means the soil, the air, is filled with water now, so we have no more void of air. So what I'm trying to say is, remember guys, the, that equation where the volume of the void is equal to the volume of the air plus volume of the water. So if you look at the diagram here, this one, it tells you VV is equal to VA plus V water. Well, when you have 100% saturation, your air now is filled with water as well. So VA is pretty much zero. So you're left with VV is equal to the volume of the water. So I can rewrite this equation in terms of the volume of the void. So I have the unit weight of the water times VV. So let me go back and uh, let me select different color. Let's plug in this term right here in this equation and see what we're going to get. Okay, so let's write it. So we have the 
on the meat bit green. So we have gamma saturated is equal to the weight of the water. Now we're going to substitute that with the unit weight of the water times the void, the volume, uh, the void volume. And we're going to divide it by V plus the dry unit weight. Remember this, we replace it with gamma D. Okay, so next thing is VV over V is actually equals to porosity, N, and N was given to us. So if I rewrite this equation, uh, we will get N times the unit weight of the water plus the gamma dry. Now, let's rewrite this in terms of gamma dry so we can solve for this. Gamma saturated minus N times gamma water. So gamma saturated is equal to 120 pounds per cubic feet minus N is equal to 0 0.26. And gamma water is 62.4. It's a constant that never changes. You have it's given to you right here. However, just make sure you use the right one. If you're dealing with SI units, use 9.81. And here we have... Uh, we're using pounds per cubic feet, and that's why uh, we have to use 62.4. So if you plug in this in your calculator, you should get an answer of 104 pounds per cubic feet. So that is your answer, and I believe that's answer A. Okay, guys, so remember, try to do these problems with me as you go, because the best way to learn something is by doing it. And the problem a day keeps the F away. If you guys have any questions or a specific topic that you'd like me to go over, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.